Hey guys, coming at you today with a new stationery haul video. And to begin, I am going to start with this tiny notebook that I purchased from this store called Fnac. Uh, I live in Portugal and this is sort of like a chain of stores similar to Barnes & Noble in the United States. And I bought it because it said it was a green notebook, which I assume means that it uses recycled paper. I didn't really read through it, but Im immediately what caught my eye were the patterns on the, the cover. Uh, the blue color for me was just fantastic. Um, an interesting detail about this notebook is that it has some like interesting texture on some of the pages. It kind of makes it hard to read sometimes, uh, depending on what page it is, but you might notice that it's not all the pages. It's only on like the cover pages or something. Um, I, I, I don't know what these are called, but um, but anyway, the rest of the pages, totally nice. Um, it, it, it is a bit thick. Uh, not too thick, but anyways. The next item that I purchased was this uh, binder. It's a clear binder from AliExpress. I've always loved binders ever since I was in school, and I finally had an excuse to buy one, so I did. And along with the binder, this didn't come with the paper, I purchased two different sets of, of paper. I purchased this plain paper, and I bought this grid paper. Uh, one thing that I do want to be completely honest with you guys about is that the pages came a bit dented. So you might see some like dents on the pages and I wasn't too happy about it, but eventually it kind of just stopped mattering to me. But you can sort of see it and if you guys do decide to purchase from them, just be mindful that that might happen. The next item that I purchased, and this is something that I've been wanting to buy for a super long time. I see people on YouTube <laughs> um, mostly using these to flatten the, sorry not to flatten, to round out the edges of uh, the items they sell or something like that. Um, I've also seen some bullet journal people, uh, or not people, uh, creators, <laughs> um, use this to round out some of their pages as well. And I've been wanting to buy one for a long time so I can do the same. Um, it comes with three different sizes, which is one of the things that really pushed me to buy this. I bought this off of Amazon. Uh, my favorite size is the seven millimeter one because it's sort of like in between the four millimeter and the 10 millimeter, and it has just the right amount of roundness to it. Um, so that's what that looks like. It works perfectly and I'm totally happy with this. So I would definitely recommend. Uh, now, the next thing I bought was this six hole hole puncher. And the problem with this one is that it, I mean, it's perfect. It works. It, it does its job. The only thing that I didn't actually do my research on was if it was going to fit the specific kind of paper that I use. And unfortunately, it doesn't. Well, actually, let me rephrase that. It sort of does, but I have to sort of, I guess, like mess with it a bit. Um, it has this extension thing that you can use to uh, customize the size even further and it pulls out a whole lot more than what I'm showing right now and that's what I have to do in order to make sure that it works with my with my planner but just a disclaimer for you guys I'm sure it works perfectly for like more popular paper sizes um but for mine it didn't work exactly the way that I had hoped but aside from that it does its job really well you can see that it punches the holes perfectly uh, there's no issues with like the edge or anything like that. So I would recommend it. Uh, just make sure that it fits the paper that you need. The next thing I bought was this wooden stamp. Uh, I bought it for like to create spreads inside of a bullet journal. And this one is like a tracker type thing. Uh, I'm not using this really at the moment, but I do have plans for it in the future. So I'll keep you guys posted on when I do use it. Uh, the quality of it is actually pretty good. I mean, nothing to complain about, really. Uh, I, myself, am sort of a newbie to these. Um, I also bought this accompanying ink pad just to make sure that I had ink for the, <laughs> the stamp. Um, and it works pretty well. It's actually quite juicy. So no complaints on this. I, I would recommend. Um, now, going back to my whole being a newbie to stamps... There's a couple of things you have to keep in mind when you're using stamps. Uh, things that I am apparently not very good at. So one is that you have to make sure that you evenly coat the surface of the, of the stamp itself, right? So this is my attempt at it. The other thing that you need to be mindful of is when you're putting it down on the actual paper, you have to put an even amount of pressure 
throughout the whole stamp so that way there's no spots where there isn't any ink. Now when I lift this up, you're going to see that there's a couple of spots missing there and I, I believe that it's my fault. It could very well be from the stamp itself, but because I'm a newbie to this, I assume that it's my fault. And you're going to see the opposite happen with this next stamp that I'm going to show you. So in addition to this tracker, I bought this sort of monthly tracker. And again, this is just another wooden stamp. Uh, from what I can see, it seems to be pretty good quality, and I believe that I use this one a little bit better than the first one. So you're going to see right now, sorry about the focusing by the way, um, you're going to see right now that there is a little bit of smudging, but overall it actually came out quite clean. So here I am trying to apply the right amount of pressure on the stamp. But then when I lift it up, you'll see that there's a bit of smudging at the top. So I'm going to keep on playing with these just to make sure that I get the technique down right. Um, I just want to make sure if it really is me or if it's a stamp. Um, but just to let you guys know that I did use these before I recorded the video and I had similar results. Now this third stamp, and this is the last stamp that I purchased, it's just the days of the week, and I believe that this might actually fit inside of the monthly tracker, but I haven't tried it out yet. And again, just trying to make sure that the, the, the stamp itself is evenly coated with the ink. And once I put it down, I try to apply the same amount of pressure throughout the entire stamp. And this one comes out, I think, the best out of all three. There is a tiny bit, I think, of smudging on the first S. But other than that, it came out pretty good and I'm happy with it. So just to give you guys a quick close up of what that looks like, that's pretty much it. And to be honest, I think that if it really bothers you, the smudging, you can just go over it with the pen. But anyways, uh, here I bought this 10 pack of highlighters, which I don't know what I was thinking. I'm, I'm going to be completely honest. I'm not a big fan of the highlighters and it's not because they don't work well. I think they do their job pretty well but these aren't as pastel as I was hoping they would be. Um, I think I should have gone for the mild liners or at least the AliExpress version of them. Um, but you're going to see right now that this pen here was given to me as a gift by uh, the seller uh, who I purchased from. And I gave it a few seconds to dry. Right now I have it sped up. Um, but all every single one of these smudge when I go over it with the highlighter. And you can see that on the marker. So I might give these away. Um, I kind of feel bad because I, I already used these on this ink, so they might have a little bit of black ink, but I'm sure there's somebody out there who's gonna give these a love that, that these markers deserve. So, or sorry, highlighters deserve. Um, but here is a little bit of a close up so you can see all the smudging that went through. It might be that you can use it use it on a different pen or maybe just over a pencil or something like that. But for me, they didn't work. And here you can see behind the paper that there's very minimal ghosting. You can see a bit of the the other side, but I would say it's pretty minimal. And now for my favorite part of the haul, the stickers. So I purchased this set because I wanted something a little bit different. I typically buy like stickers that have some sort of, uh, I don't know, like they're not just abstract shapes or anything like that, but these were really beautiful and I'm sure you can imagine why. I know that I've probably made you guys sick of how much I tell you that I love gold foiling, but the gold foiling did it for me on this one. So. I purchased these. I'm very happy with them. They sort of have like a washy type uh, feel to them and I can totally see myself using these for like journaling or something like that um, for decorating things and yeah um, I hope you guys like these and as with everything I'm going to create uh, in the description box a link to all of these not create I'm going to add the link to them but uh, yeah, so this set here, sorry, uh, for this set here, uh, it was just a travel set that I saw on AliExpress, and sorry, the focusing sometimes takes a bit, but I really love these because it had like this watercolor type texture to them. Um, this year for me has been sort of a year of travel, and I thought that the theme of these stickers was pretty appropriate. Um, 
in my next video you're going to see the theme that I use for my personal planner, or rather my YouTube slash content planner tracker thing. Um, and I use these because I thought it went well with uh, the theme that I was going for. So you can see here there's like sort of like a mod podge of like different kinds of items. There's um, like more location centered items like the, the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Um, these random dollar bills, the cameras, that kind of stuff. Um, but they're all really cute and I, I can see myself using them uh, you know, for different things, not just, uh, not just the planner. Um, I do do some journaling, so I can totally see myself using this for that. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for these stickers. Uh, these snow cones are, uh, sorry, these ice cream cones are super cute. Uh, the bicycles and this little flower letter thing. Uh, this next set that I bought, I just call it the green set because <laughs> that's pretty much what it is. It has a bunch of random green items, so it has like this matcha tea, or at least what I assume is matcha tea. Um, these little teas, and then these are just random uh, drinks. This one's upside down. Um, and similar to the previous set that I bought, they have this sort of watercolor feel to them, which is, again, very cute and super in right now, I would say. Some of them had these, like, the cutouts still stuck onto them, but you can just quickly remove those and it's not a problem. But these I would consider more like neutrals, so you can use these to decorate pretty much anything because I think plants go pretty well with anything. Um, and if you're looking just to like have like a minimal uh, decoration on your spreads, I would say these are pretty good for that. Some of them are a little bit random. Um, mojito cheesecake bite something. These artichokes. There's another one that I found kind of gross. Not this one, that sounds actually pretty good. Little flamingos. This adorable little storefront. More plants. Even more plants. Okay, this is the one. The Frappuccino Shaved Ice Brownies. That sounds really strange to me. Um, but I don't know if that's actually a thing, so. Mexican Limeade, more flowers. Another storefront, which I have upside down. And then finally, these lemons. The next set that I got, um, I believe it was on the listing, it was called like Nordic theme or something like that. Um, it has a lot of like wintry type items, which I don't know if I actually caught on to that <laughs> when I purchased them. I, I'm going to be honest, I totally blanked out on how I came to the decision to purchase these, but I feel like this is something that I might be able to use for like the winter months or something. Uh, they feel pretty appropriate. And they remind me of uh, when I used to live in Estonia, which it was super cold there, um, but it was very cozy, if you know what I mean. I don't know. But I, I just like them because of that. They remind me a lot of my time when I was living in Estonia, which sometimes I miss. Um, I live in a country now where it's mostly warm most of the time because I live in the south of Portugal. Uh, so sometimes I do miss like that sort of wintry vibe, the coziness and stuff like that. Um, and I'm super excited for Christmas again. I, that's like one of my favorite holidays. I don't know if you guys, uh, love or celebrate Christmas, but it's definitely one of my favorite holidays. Um, let me know what your favorite holiday is in the comments below. So that was it for that set and then for this one I, I call it like the purple set because it just had a lot of purple in it um it wasn't necessarily like just winter stuff it just feels like a bunch of random purple items um we have these whales here which are like celestial whales and I believe in one of my prior sets I had something similar uh you have like these crystals and planets and then just a random trumpet, or I, I don't know what instrument that is, I guess it's trumpet, uh, violin, this thing, I want to say trombone, I played the trombone when I was in high school, I don't remember what it looks like, uh, this is like a boat sailing in the water, I'm assuming this is like a window type thing, 
I was trying to figure this one out. I have no idea what it is. <laughs> but it's pretty. I guess it's abstract. I don't know. If you guys can figure this one out, let me know. But I definitely didn't. These are like cogs, birds. As you can see, there really isn't any other theme except for just purple. Or purples and blues and greens. Which is fine because, I mean, it gives me an assorted uh, like variety of stickers that I can use for whatever I feel like. I'm really like building a huge collection of stickers at this point and I think I might have a problem but I personally don't think you can have too many stickers. This one, okay there we go. Initially I couldn't figure out what that was, it's just an anchor. And then I have this set here, uh, it's just random again, pink stickers. Oh actually this one is ocean theme but it has a lot of pink in it too, it's very pretty. I think I can mix this one up or match them with some of the stickers from the previous set. And I have more whales here. Some just like sea, sea life or something. More whales. And I'm sure you guys have already noticed that there is a consistent theme of watercolor type stickers here, which I'm, I'm really digging at the moment. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm just digging them at the moment. I'm, I'm getting really into watercolor right now, so it felt appropriate. These are super cute. I'm going to just make a t-shirt that says super cute because that's like my catchphrase. <laughs> super cute. And that is it for my haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed the things that I showed you and if you guys have any questions about any of the items just let me know. I am happy to help and please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Uh, it really helps me because I, I want to make sure that I'm letting I'm letting out the kind of content that you guys want from me um, and I probably say this I've probably said this already a couple of times but I really want to make sure that I'm providing you guys with some sort of information not just entertainment. Um, so yeah I, I would really love to hear from you. Um, if you like the video, just leave a thumbs up. I, I sound like all the other YouTubers out there <laughs> and I've avoided saying this, but it really does help uh, with growing your channel if you have people letting you know that they like your content. So definitely keep me posted if there's anything that you want me to show you or if there's anything you didn't like. I definitely appreciate the feedback.